Hi, I'm Mike Gonzalez with Franklin PUD here on the beautiful shores of the Columbia River in Tri-Cities, Washington. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, you know how clean our energy sources really are from our powerful dams like the one at Ice Harbor just outside of Pasco to wind turbines along Nine Canyon and nuclear energy facilities like the Columbia Generating Station near Richland. There's no doubt the Evergreen State is leading the way when it comes to clean energy. The Clean Energy Transformation Act passed in 2019 in Washington state, it creates a real roadmap for zero carbon emissions, including the complete removal of coal from our energy supplies by 2025. But clean energy does come with real challenges. When you take an energy source like coal out of the equation, it needs to be replaced. But the question becomes, how do you do that clean, safely, and affordably? You may be familiar with a concept called resource adequacy. It's really just a fancy way of asking, will we have enough power to keep the lights on for decades to come? I had a chance to talk with Energy Northwest and New Scale Power here in the Tri-Cities about SMR technology and how it could become a game changer when it comes to powering the Northwest. Governor Inslee uh, has recognized that nuclear needs to be part of the solution. For Energy Northwest, Jason Herbert, every day is another chance to let the Pacific Northwest know that nuclear is a clean and reliable energy source. It's 100% carbon free, uh, so the issue really is getting that message out. So we've been partnering with a lot of uh, think tanks and environmental groups at you know, the state, local, national level, um, other thought leaders, um, as well as our trade associations to really speak with a unified voice about the role nuclear energy plays in addressing climate change and a role where we are, are carbon constrained. Energy Northwest has been hard at work for nearly a decade with New Scale Power, developing small modular reactor technology. The goal is for SMRs to replace coal plants that have been retired as part of the clean energy legislation in Washington State. A new scale small modular reactor can generate 77 megawatts of power using a safer, smaller, and scalable pressurized water reactor technology. I had a chance to talk with NewScale's co-founder and chief technology officer, Dr. Jose Reyes, about how SMRs will be a reliable baseload power source for our region. Baseload power sources are things like the Snake River dams, the Columbia Generating Station, and natural gas. Dr. Reyes hopes SMRs will soon be added to that list. When a lot of people think of nuclear reactors, they think of these massive facilities. Um, you know, and let's start out with, in terms of size, how big are these SMRs? Well, each module uh, is relatively small. So a module uh, with the reactor vessel and its containment vessel, uh, it's about 72 feet in length and about 15 feet in diameter. So it's a real long cylinder. Uh, and, and it would sit uh, immersed in water of below ground. Uh, so that's kind of the concept. So it's relatively small. Uh, if you look at the large uh, containment buildings uh, that you see today for light water reactors, uh, a large pressurized water reactor, uh, or, or something like a boiling water reactor like at, at Columbia, you could fit uh, over 100 of these by volume inside that big building. Chris Colbert, New Scale's Chief Financial Officer and Chief Strategy Officer, believes SMR technology will fill the gap for retiring coal plants. Colbert says New Scale's equipment can be plugged into existing coal plant infrastructure like the one that recently closed in Boardman, Oregon. Coal plants, part of what we, we saw there was not only the energy but also the economic opportunity provided to the localities for it. And when you look at you know, what happens to a lot of these places, some of them have, have been in areas where you know, the coal plant, the city and the economy has grown up around them where they're not the significant contributor they once were. But in a lot of places in the West, they are the significant contributor. So if you look at a, a new scale plant at its size and ability to scale, that gives an opportunity for these plants that are planning to retire or shut down or for whatever reason in the West, to reuse that site, retrain that workforce, maintain the economy and the tax base for that county or that city, um, and let life go on as it has been, which most people are pretty happy with. As for Energy Northwest, they're committed to finding reliable energy sources, along with partners like New Scale that can help power the Northwest for decades. We've safely and successfully operated Columbia Generating Station for almost 36 years now. Um, we have a skilled and trained workforce in the Tri-Cities and a lot of support here in central Washington for nuclear and, and really if we want to achieve the goals of CETA, um, nuclear is going to have to be part of that solution, as will renewables, as will storage, and as will hydropower, but all of those together are, are how you get there. And New Scale Power says they will be ready to deliver the first New Scale Power modules to a client in 2027. 
I hope you've learned a lot about SMR technology. I want to send special thanks to Energy Northwest and New Scale Power for sharing this incredible information with us. If you've got questions about this story, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is mgonzalez at franklinpud.com. You can also reach me on my cell phone anytime, 509. 3808239. If you've got suggestions for future stories, feel free to reach out to me as well. We're going to be doing these educational stories all year long to really get you schooled up on future technologies and what power generation sources hold for the future here in the Pacific Northwest. Well, on behalf of Franklin PUD, I'm Mike Gonzalez saying join us next time right here on our social media platforms and you can always find us on the Powerline blog. Have a great day, everybody.